another video now as you guys know samsung released one user experience program that's one ui is what they call based on android 9.0 which will be released i think in january uh, probably on third week of january so that's when the official update will be released but before that they have actually given the uh, beta program to pretty much i think all the users uh, who actually joined the Samsung members application so you need to log in the Samsung members application and then you can register to the one UI experience program now remember this one user experience program is beta that means they are testing based on your feedback so you can actually choose the option to give feedback they will collect log information and they will see what's the problem and then they will fix that update so depending on how much bugs will be there how much instability the system UI performs based on that they will be probably releasing the final version of the uh, one ui so that time it will be really good and polished i would say now actually they are testing with these um, bugs and basically it depends on users feedback as well so that means if you are finding any uh, features missing you can actually report them so with that in mind you should install this software don't think that it is final and there are a lot of actually bugs and that means the phone may run slow quite a bit so it happened to me quite a number of times but still all the functions and features run very nicely that's what i would say with the samsung's new ui experience program although it is running beta it really really works uh, well it's uh, quite fast as well and battery is also not trading so that's plus that is how they are improving actually day by day depending on the user's feedback and report and such in this video i'm going to show you what are the new features as well as uh, what are the interesting things that samsung has given in samsung's uh, one ui beta program now actually this one ui beta program is more focused more oriented towards the user's day-to-day -day tasks that means whatever task you perform on daily basis that will be really quick that will be made really simple so that you have uh, got access to all your needs in one single touch so that's how they are improving the software and i think uh, they have worked upon really well and the software is performing really nicely and the features and the options they have given is also quite interesting as well so all right then let's uh, look at the one ui experience program i'll also show you how you have to install it um, all right let's begin with this video then so guys how to install the one ui beta program it's very very easy first download the samsung members application it's available on galaxy apps as well as play store so you just have to install the application called Samsung Members. Once you install that, open the software and then there you will find the login info. So you will have to log in to your Samsung account and once you are logged in, observe the notices section. So inside the notices section, you will find the registrations open for one UI beta program and that's where you have to tap. Once you tap that, you will get this banner over here and there is also instructions. If you just scroll down, you can find the instructions on how to install and what are the, the risks that involves once you install this one. So all sorts of that you can find there. But how to install is first you have to register. Just tap on this banner and uh, register it. So once you tap register, it will warn you. It will give you information saying that you are about to accept the beta one UI program. So whatever the grain of salt that comes with the software must be accepted. All right so even if uh, there is a lot of trouble that comes to your mobile you can always call the customer care and solve it so they will uh, basically help you with the uh, rollback software you can also use the smart switch application on the windows and even mac it's available you can actually take your backup and you can recover the original official version that you were using earlier uh, if something happens to this software so all the backups are there it's just that you have to accept the risk that comes with this software that's what i can say so once you register wait for a couple of minutes or rather five to ten minutes and then you have to go to settings and inside the settings here you will find the software update just like any other softwares how you update it's the same steps nothing change over here so just manually there will be manually download and install just tap on that and it will search for the update there you will find the one ui update so it's a basically 1500 mb update i'll just show you with the screenshots that i have actually taken so here's the screenshot of that so security patch level is updated to 1st november 2018 uh, one ui beta upgrade with android pi now just let it download and then install it just like you would normally install any operating system very very simple once it install it restarts and it will say you that android is setting up so just wait patiently even if uh, the screen goes completely blank 
just wait for a couple of minutes and it will reboot and everything gets ready so this is the home screen it's very functional i would say very very uh, fluid as of now but occasional stutters are there because it is a beta program so it's accepted don't think that it's uh, working very fluidly at all the times because it is a beta program you should know that it uh, won't be as fluid as the official software because they'll be testing out various things or functions on the beta UI program. The first thing that you will notice here is the change of icons. So all the icons are changed as you will see here. Basic icons that comes with Samsung software uh, icons are changed. Uh, sort of interesting I would say it all depends on personal taste. Some may prefer this icon, some may not. But I personally didn't like that much. But that's how it is. And as you will see here three navigation buttons uh, have been changed aesthetically. So this is how it is now. If I just tap on recent apps, here you will find the recent app cards. So basically they call the cards. Of course it looks like cards. And this is the curve that comes with the screen, right? So the same curve is actually visible over here. And all the recently used apps or say more frequently used apps can be found here and easily you can actually access any of the application very quickly. And keep that in mind, uh, once you download and install the software, everything will remain same. Your data will be remained same, at least for my device, nothing was deleted. So everything is just as it was, even the secure folder, Samsung Knox works uh, perfectly, I would say with the biometric sensors and everything as such. So don't worry about that. So these are the cards you can actually search your phone right from here now. So pretty much uh, anything that's inside your phone can be searchable with that single click. And other than that, as you will find the icons over here, if I just tap and uh, tap on the icon. So this is the gallery app because it is a gallery app. It shows all the related function. This is very, very, very handy feature. I would say a lot of the time I was missing this feature and now it's very helpful. Here you'll find the app info open in split screen view, open in pop-up view. So you can quickly open in pop-up view. Boom, there you have it. Very, very functional. So features like this are really helpful uh, when they upgrade. So again, the bubble icon is here. You can pretty much move the icon wherever you want because it was in pop-up view. You can do that. You can resize, you can open it. And there is also uh, app info quickly. You can jump into app info. Previously, this was not available at all. So it was frustration to actually go to the settings and find the app, then go to the app info. So instead of that, now it is easily findable inside the app info. So what they have done is, as you are seeing now, with one hand, I can actually reach to the settings that I want to change. So previously it was like this and whatever you want to do, you have to reach there. Uh, if you have large hands, you can conveniently reach, but still you had to use the two fingers. Now it is uh, just one finger swipe. If I just swipe down like this, as you can see, it comes down and it makes much much easier to access whatever i want to access so this is how it is as you can see and all the things that you are seeing is organized into these kind of cards so the main thing here is the theme is cards cards and user experience improvement so that's how you can call because whatever you see here will be in terms of cards so let's go to the settings quickly i'll show you what i mean so as you can see the cards have been distinguished individually so related to notification and apps it has created one separate uh, card and related to wallpapers themes advanced features you have another card so if the display wallpaper and theme and advanced features were in one card that would have been helpful samsung if you are watching this video make sure you bring that feature uh, relative apps can be relative settings can be categorized or organized into one card so that would be really helpful here's the lock screen so smart lock screen lock type you can also change the settings uh, night view mode so all that can be done contact information can be written here and there is this clock style so they have uh, changed it to always on display and a general clock style you can change that individually so there are a lot of uh, uh, customization available here you can change the individual color of the clock and if you don't find this interesting you can always change it to customization so always on display is here so here you can find as you can see there is a switch for always on display on and off and uh, 
uh, there's home button and clock clock home button just as it was previously display show show always tap the screen to show for 30 seconds so this is new here so if i lock the screen always on display will not be here if i just tap on the screen always on display pops up uh, so this is how it is if you have given it with the home screen just if i tap and hold the home screen there is a haptic feedback there and then all your notifications are categorized here this is how it is as you can see messages and you can instantly read the message and delete mark as read save you can view the message and if i just swipe down again here's the notification panel so with the clock time everything remains same actually but then they have actually organized it properly so that it is much more convenient and easy to reach so as you can see what has changed so if i just remove the night mode again you will find the white color so this is how easy it is again you can see the curve on either side either corners so this is new thing and it all uh, goes with the device uh, aesthetic as well so uh, there are a couple of things uh, very interesting now the device care device optimization has changed to device care again it performs similar you can check the battery over here there is storage battery usage i would say battery usage has actually increased for some it is draining very drastically but i find that playing games for uh, say one hour or one and a half hour maximum um, if the battery was 100% it would reach to around 70% I would say so that way I think it's uh, really nice that the battery backup is uh, pretty good with the Android 9.0 although it is beta version again moving on to the gallery here as you can see uh, the gallery's uh, aesthetic appearance has actually changed now it is pictures over here the albums and there are stories so it all divides uh, uh, like this and there is shared you can share your album so if you add an album and insert pictures over there you can quickly share that album with others so it is very easy so another improvement over here is the video app so if you just tap on the video app now there is this instant video player that means if i uh, just tap on any of the video it start playing over here uh, you can actually play and see what's going on here and control the settings as well so if you want to go it full mode just tap on this full view and here you can see the video gets played in full screen so this is how you can go to the full screen mode so this is the little change i would say if you just tap on this grid you can change the grid mode again there is this instant player setting you can turn it off if you don't want to use that instant app and again similarly to the contacts if i just tap on the contacts this is the keypad this is the recent contacts this is the uh, contacts so all the contacts will be here again so pretty much everything is same here again moving on to the camera application so here a couple of things have changed one is the there was actually a 2x here so instead they have actually uh, made it tree so one tree and two trees so this is how it is so you can go close up from uh, clicking over here and this is the normal wide angle here's the photo again card wise photo scene optimizer this is a different mode altogether now it's live focus so same functions and here's the pro mode with all the functions that were present earlier here's the panorama here's the food mode and of course you have the hyperlapse and super slow mo slow mo video mode everything remains same it's just the skin it's just the user interface that they have changed and as you can see the bixby vision is moved on the top there is this ar emoji function on the top so this just that they have changed it and here is the camera settings so previously if i just tap on the camera settings or rather any settings you would find it from the beginning but now it is all plain space with the camera settings so that your uh, finger is much more reachable to all the options very easily with single hand so again settings all remain same there is nothing new over here and if there are some modes missing on your camera app what you can do is to go to the settings choose camera mode edit mode list here you will find those food wide selfie panorama so these are not enabled by default you can go here and then enable it so this is the basic change i would say that they have uh, made to the android 9.0 of course there might be several other things but then these are the major things that i would say so there are a couple of features missing i would say for example if i just tap and hold the notification panel previously it used to show the date and time so that was really convenient say that i want to quickly uh, see the date if i just tap and hold here it should appear on the top that's missing and another thing is if i just go to the settings quickly so let's go to settings 
and here inside the display while I change the screen mode adaptive display now as you can see if I just tap on any other setting over here you will find that the same applies over here and it actually shows me how it's gonna look now if I just tap on the adaptive settings boom there you go that's missing actually whatever I change over here I cannot view it properly as to how it's going to look so that's uh, missing here if uh, the same picture appears over here and whenever I change this uh, it should change there that's missing it was in the previous original software but then there is night mode here blue light filter pretty much uh, everything remains same screen resolution WQHD plus again the cards user interface there is this home screen edge screen everything is absolutely same there is the edge panel here if i just tap on the edge panel you can access the apps very quickly this is very very convenient feature again it all remains same you can access the torch from here surface leveler ruler tally counter compass so everything remains same you can actually go to the settings here and individually bring any cards that you want and one more thing what they have done is again they have given the card as the user interface now if i just tap on this little icon over here as you can see if i just tap on that i can quickly uh, go to any of the settings so say that i want to quickly smart select if i just tap on that you go to smart select and how you want to choose your option is left to you so quickly you can go to there so that's a neat feature available there again bixby remains uh, same bixby home here's the bixby home with the, all the cards I would say that Bixby Home doesn't actually work as well as the Google's Assistant. I have tried it many times. So that's an unfortunate thing. Hope they'll improve it very nicely and very quickly. Here's the game launcher. So as you can see game launcher again the card the interface has changed but everything remains same. So yeah I'll be making more video if I find anything interesting over here. So make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this video. Installing this is very easy, I would say that go ahead and install and try it for yourself, you will find it very nice and convenient. Uh, some are actually rolling back to the original software because they didn't like, again it's personal taste. Because this uh, is a beta program so there will be glitches over here and you will have to take that with a grain of salt, you can't do anything. Uh, hope to get some updates and then only the issues get resolved and of course the official version will be anyway released in january so the s pen feature also remains same again you will find same features over here nothing new has been added and if i just tap on the create note all the settings and all the note related features are same again as you can see now they have given it as a card so you can choose the template of different colors if i just tap and hold the s pen it should actually take me to the uh, camera user interface let's see if the camera has opened yes and if i just uh, tap on the s pen button so it clicks picture so s pen remains same nothing new over here and if you want to change to the S Pen features just go to the settings over here and you will find the advanced features and here you will find the S Pen so manage every feature of the S Pen over here there is this S Pen remote and whatever function you want to activate for the S Pen remote you can do that very nicely and very easily so all that can be done over here so I would say that you just play with the settings and you see what has improved for you and it's uh, if it's actually working for you guys so for me it's uh, it's a welcome change i would say for the software update that they have given and looking forward to some uh, nice improvements some new improvements hopefully they will release it very quickly so yeah guys this was a video about the android one ui pro beta program if you like hit that like button subscribe to big geek i'll be making more interesting videos and as the updates uh, follow i will be sharing on my youtube uh, community page so hit that like button, see you all in another one, till then take care everyone, bye bye.